Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video we're going to have a look at a creative postcard hover effect on Avada food. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok let's begin. I've imported one of my favourite pre-builts here, Avada food, and if we move to the very bottom of the page we can see these images across the screen just above the footer. When I mouse over them, there is a very cool overlay at play. So how was this made? Well as mentioned, this is a postcard in use here, so if we mouse over Edit Live, we can see all the postcards in use, and the one we want is called Recipe Card Hover Large. So let's edit that. If we look at the navigator, we can see that this is a 1-1 column, with a nested column and a title. Let's start with the main column. If I go to the background tab, and then images, we can see the background image is dynamic content and is the featured image and on the Extras tab under the Transform option, there is a tiny scale transformation here which is responsible for the image growing slightly on mouse over. But what about the overlay? For that, let's look at the nested column. It has the permalink set as the link URL, and on the Background tab and Gradient, we can see that there is a gradient from an almost transparent colour 5 to colour 5 at the bottom. But an interesting thing here is that nothing is visible initially, either the overlay or the title. So if we go to the Extras tab, let's have a look at what's going on. Under Filters, I can see that the opacity has been set to zero, which is why we can't see anything initially, and there is also a small amount of blur. And if we look at the Hover options, the opacity reverts to 100 and the blur to zero. So on Hover, the nested column unblurs and becomes opaque, however with the transparency in the gradient. And now of course we can also see the title, which just has the dynamic content of title. But what about this movement? If I mouse slowly over the column, I can see the blur and the opacity at play, but there's also this skewed movement. If I scroll further down to the Transform options, I can see that there are initial values of 12 in the Rotate option and 6 in Skew X. So this is the starting point for the nested column, and on Hover both these values change back to 0. So let's just look at the home page in the Live Builder here, and we can see this postcard element is using the Recipe Card Hover Large Postcard and is displaying four portfolio posts with an offset of one. And so on the front end, we get this cool overlay effect on the individual posts, and we can just click to go to a particular recipe. That's really nice. Ok, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.